sweet, quick, Kinner mock chew. Traditionally, mock chew is kind of like a, a French or Creole version of a succotash, if you oh, will. Okay. Oh. It's, it's corn based. Um, just in my pan right here, I've started off with some bacon bits and I've rendered the fat. I'm going to get some of the Trinity in here. We're all familiar with the mirepoix, which is carrot, celery, onion. Uh, but in New Orleans, it's celery, green bell pepper, and white onion. So, GZ, the most important part of this dish is the corn next to the flavor profile. Good. Sweet corn, right? Yes, really good sweet, corn. sweet corn in the Ooh. summer. Hook me up with just getting the kernels off of six okay. of those. Um, so right into the pan, I'm just going to get the white onion, the celery, and the green bell pepper. So after you render the fat out of the bacon, I still want a little bit more fat to hook up the vegetables and flavor. So butter goes in. I use salted butter. That's what I usually buy in the grocery store. And then a little bit more salt uh, to tenderize and get all of the moisture out of the vegetables. I'm going to turn this up. Um, Let's in addition, take a look at GZ using that bump over there. He's just so technical. And you know, his favorite I don't cake waste. is angel food cake. So here he is. Show him what you did. You, know. you just put that in like this, and you and you zap Shave it off. Shave it down, and, it and down. then it all falls in there instead of just all over the place. It's a all way to keep your kitchen tray. clean. Exactly. There it is. So I'm just going to um, have up some heirloom cherry tomatoes. But you can just do regular old cherry tomatoes. Doesn't matter. But I just love the colors and the sizes. Into uh. that. Look at I'm going to add in the tomatoes. I can add in the garlic so it's not going to like get browned and cook too hard. All right, so that's going to cook down a little bit. I've got some chicken stock I'm going to add. I'll turn this up. I thought that was OJ for a minute. Because <laughs> I love to use orange <laughs> you juice. You do. Actually, it would, you could. It would be pretty good in this. You could. So I'm just going to let this cook. Now it's a good time to add in all that corn. Thank you, GZ. You're welcome. We yes. Waste no kernel. That's right. You use that trick. And these things here, you can use the cobs too. Like yeah. a nice little corn broth. Oh, you can throw the cobs in some water and make a really good corn stock for some chowder. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you put the corn in at the end, because like we said, it's it doesn't done, need right? much. Yeah, doesn't need much. I'm just going to hit this. And another reason why I call this Kinner Mock Chew is a traditional Mock Chew will have like a little splash of heavy cream at the end or something like that. So I'm a little left of that in Kinner. I put some Greek yogurt. Oh, wow. I've never Funny seen this. Greek yogurt. Listen, Katie, you have influenced me to be slightly healthier. Yeah, I like and it's a working. vegetable dish. Yeah, and then the, this is just a little, little bit of cayenne there, don't forget. pepper. Not a lot. Vitamin just a little bit of cayenne pepper, kind of like company heat. You're having company over, you don't want to go too crazy. Like a lunch heat. friend. Yes, yeah, like friend, friendship heat. But now in your family, you know what you really want if you really want to go crazy. Like a relish. It is like a relish. This is a Don't condimento. It's a condimento. Mm. Could be a those. side or a condiment. Succotash vibes. Very American. Very succotash Green peppers vibe very often don't get any love. I agree with They just don't get love. And it's hard to put a green pepper anywhere, let me tell you. But in this dish, yeah. it's absolutely that, that immature taste is mm -hmm. perfect. The baby pepper taste. I was gonna say immature. Yeah, the I like taste. That juicy. Mm -hmm. I'll Don't tell you what. With the little words. sugar burst. Yeah, That's everything true. has got a little, mm -hmm. its own individual moment of bursting in your mouth, right? The corn. Like fireworks, huh? Right, like in fireworks. The, ah. the, the, the tomatoes got the juicy burst. The corn has that sweet burst, and the perfect little green peppers, with your trinity, which is essential in here. And it it didn't take you but five minutes to put that together, and it's all about. Peak freshness, peak ingredients coming together. This beautiful summery bite. I love this, honey.